Hello bookworms! Today I'm going to be doing a fandom haul. So it's been quite a while since I did my last one and I realized that I have acquired more stuff than I can possibly show in this video. So I just kind of picked up from like a little while ago and I thought it'd be fun to share some of the fandom things that I got at the end of last year and the beginning of this year. So we've got some toys and figures, we've got some clothing, we've got some games, we've got some plushes, some accessories, and some artwork. So there's quite a lot to go through. I'm going to do each of them in categories. So starting off, I'm going to show you clothing. So first and really exciting is that one of my favorite t-shirt companies, which is The Colorful Geek, she recently asked me if I would want to be an affiliate for her t-shirts and I was like, oh my god, yes, because she's been around for a really long time, but I only just discovered her shop last summer and I already own 22 of her t-shirts. Like, that's how much I love them. <laughs> that's how serious this is. So I'm actually wearing one of them right now, which is my like Princess Leia t-shirt. Well, jump up, but it says self-rescuing princess. I really love this design. Her shirts are so comfortable and soft and I love them so much. But so this was one that I got and then I'll show you a couple of others. So I got another Star Wars related shirt and this one says space princess. These were created for C2E2 this past year. So I definitely picked one of these up as soon as she got back and put them online. I really like this colorway too because it's like Star Wars colored. And then also I, as you guys know, really love Broadway and the colorful geek creates some Broadway shirts so that's also been really exciting. I have a Mean Girls one from her too but the most recent one that I picked up is this one that says wait for me and it's a Hades Town t-shirt and I love it and I love that it has the flower on it. It's so pretty. If you are interested in picking up any of her shirts you can go to her website which I will have linked down below and you can use my code which is super space chick and you will get a discount on your order and I highly recommend doing so because like I said her shirts are so comfortable. I really love them. <laughs> then I have a shirt from Jordan Denae, who is actually another company that I also have a discount code for, and it's also Super Space Chick. And that is the Toss a Coin to Your Witcher shirt. As you guys know, I've been reading the Witcher series and I love it and I could not pass up the opportunity to get this. And I actually got a matching one for Andrew so we can be twins. I bought this one a little bit bigger than I typically do because I thought it could be fun to wear it like oversized with faux leather leggings or something and like some big black shoes. I thought that would be kind of a cute look. A game that Andrew and I played together last year that we both really loved was Okami. So one of the websites that Andrew actually frequents is called Fangamer and they came out with some Okami merch. So I got this shirt, which is an Okami shirt, and I also got Andrew a matching one of this. <laughs> so we're gonna match a lot lately in the t-shirts that we have. I'm excited to take a picture in these together. I think these are so beautiful. This game is just like stunning. And then lastly, which I just actually grabbed from my closet because I was like, oh yeah, I should include that. It's really cute. I got this very adorable sweatshirt, but it's like really thin. It's not like a heavy sweatshirt from, I think I got it from Box Lunch actually, but it's so cute because it looks like Usagi's bedding and I super love it and it's really comfy. The worst thing about filming these videos is that this room is just a disaster because I throw everything on the floor once I built it up. Moving on to the next category, I think I'm going to show you guys some Pokemon plushes because they're blocking some other things that are under them. So the biggest one that we've recently acquired is this little sleeping Bulbasaur. He's so cute and so soft and super adorable. Andrew and I have a really big display of Pokemon plushes in our living room area and I actually just recently posted a photo of it on Instagram, but sleeping Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur was Andrew's starter, so Andrew's very partial to him. I always chose Squirtle, however, as I've gotten older, I think I've actually come to like Bulbasaur more. He's just adorable. And then back when Pokemon Sword and Shield were releasing, Andrew and I went to the Nintendo store on release day and... I got this adorable little Score Bunny plush. Score Bunny was my starter, so I instantly fell in love with him and was like, I cannot leave the store without this. You know that, right? And he was like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Andrew actually chose Grokey as his starter. We try to choose different ones so that we can breed them and trade them and complete our Pokedexes. We're still searching for a Sobble though, so if anybody had Sobble as a starter and wants to send me their friend code on Instagram so that we can trade, be very happy to give you a, a Score Bunny. He's really cute. So I played 
played Pokemon, I played Pokemon Shield and Andrew played Pokemon Sword. So often when I was playing, I would have him like with me, like playing. It was fun. Then speaking of Sword and Shield, Nintendo has finally been releasing some Pokemon from the Galar region. So as soon as this little Yamper appeared, I was like, oh my god, we have to. Like, we need him so bad. <laughs> he's so cute. He's a little electric corgi and he's super, super cute. He's really tiny but very cute. And they're also finally coming out with a Galarian Ponita, so that's going to be an insta buy as well. Then we've got one of my personal favorite Pokemon and that is Pseudo Widow. I just think he's so much fun. He is like, you can't see me, I'm a tree, but he's really not. He's just adorable and I don't know. I think his faces are really funny. Every time I encounter one of him in Pokemon Go, I get really excited. And Andrew calls him shoulda, woulda, coulda because he, he is not good with Pokemon that are not from the Kanto region. <laughs> then I have a little Woobat and I really liked him because he has a heart on his nose. He was the research reward in February in Pokemon Go. And then lastly, they did a line of what they're calling sitting cuties. So they're like mini little Pokemon. So far they've done the Kanto and Johto region, so I imagine Hoenn is going to follow suit very soon. I got a little Corsola because I love Corsola and I love pink Pokemon. <laughs> so pretty much anytime there's a pink Pokemon, I get it. Then keeping kind of within the same vein, Andrew and I recently watched ReZero on Crunchyroll and I really enjoyed it. And I got this Rem and Ram statue. So they're sisters and they both work as maids in this like manner. Personally, I love Rem. She's a really cool character. Ram is a little bit on the prickly side, but I feel like we're going to get more of her in season two. But I just thought this was such a pretty statue and I liked that it had both of them. And I'll like spin it around so that you can fully see. But then you have like their front outfits too. They're really cute. Then I haven't actually taken her out of the box yet, but I got this Diva Nendroid. She looks very, very cute in her school uniform. And fun fact, oh, she also comes with the little mech. I pre-ordered this forever ago and completely forgot about it. I got a shipment notification from Right Stuff Anime and I assumed that it was our Zelda Breath of the Wild um, Nendoroid. And then Diva showed up and I was like, Oh yeah! <laughs> I missed a Pokemon plush. We also got Litwick, which is a ghost Pokemon, and ghost Pokemon are my favorite kind of Pokemon. If there's ever a pink ghost Pokemon, that would be like the dream. Then with everything going on, ECCC, which is Emerald City Comic Con, got cancelled, so a lot of um, artists and brands and people that were planning on attending the show released all of the things virtually that they were going to release in store. So one of those companies that did a virtual release was Funko and I managed to get my hands on this little floor Funko. I swear every time I say that I'm not buying any more Funko Pops they come out with one that I'm like all right, well, I need that one. And she was one of them for sure. The next one is certainly going to be Korra because they're finally coming out with Legend of Korra Funkos. But she's so cute. She's in her little Bow Baton uniform, so I could not resist. We also got this little PlayStation light up thing for our gaming center. So I charged it and it's not lighting up at the moment, but you can also put batteries inside of it. And then there's a little button on the side that you can hit and all of these light up. And it's really fun, especially if you're playing like later at night. Then moving on to some artwork. So I actually have a lot of artwork on the way to me at the moment, because like I mentioned before, there were a whole bunch of small businesses and artists that were planning on going to conventions and selling their things throughout the year and with everything that happened and everything that's been canceled they haven't been able to do so so I've tried to support some of my favorites online and I'm gonna show you some stuff that I got so first from Jen Bartel I have this awesome Thanos print this was actually a variant cover for a Thanos comic over at Marvel and I had been debating buying a copy of the comic just because I loved this art so much. So I was really excited when Jen released this in her store as a print. And I'm planning on hanging this in our kitchen. I really love it. And then also from Jen, she did a mashup of the last unicorn and Pokemon. So she calls this the last Ponita. So it's Galarian Ponita and it's so pretty. And I love all the like pastel colors in it. I just think it's really pretty. And then I actually have more from Jen on the way, but it hasn't arrived yet, so that will be in my next fandom haul, which won't be as 
far away because I do feel like I have quite a bit of stuff on, like in route. Then I got a bunch of really cool prints from Jordan Gibson. The first one has Batgirl and Batman and Robin. I also really like the color scheme that he stuck to. I think it's very awesome and gives you that like really old school Batman kind of feel. And so does this one, which is another Batman print. This one is kind of like pop art. It gives me kind of an Andy Warhol vibe, but it's based on Bat manga. And I think it's so cute. I really like how it's so colorful. It like really pops. And then I could not resist this Spider-Man print. Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. So anytime there's Spider-Man anything, I usually tend to gravitate toward it. That was really fun. And I'm very excited to find a place to hang this piece. And then last, Lastly, feeling a little nostalgia for my childhood, I really liked this Power Rangers print. I thought it was really cool. Very, very awesome. Andrew also loves Power Rangers from when he was a child, so I just thought this was like a really fun print. Then I got a really cool piece from an artist named Adam something, but I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He did a Link's Awakening piece of art, and Andrew and I just played that game together last year, and we really loved it. So I got it, and I framed it, and it's already hanging in our living room, so I'll show you a photo of what that one looks like. And then the same artist did these three other prints which we got, which are also going to be hanging in our living room, but I had to order them from a UK site. So they're like a weird size and I haven't been able to find a frame yet. They're actually maps of different Pokemon regions. So this one is of the Kanto region. Then we have the Johto region. And this one's a little bit, uh, more expansive. I like that we have Lugia in the corner there. And then lastly, we have the Hoenn region. So we decided for now to just stick to the first three regions. And if we have more wall space, we will potentially get more regions. And then this one has Latias and Latios flying up there. But I just think that they're really cool. I love maps. So I'm really excited to have these. We actually saw these at our friend Matt and Claire's house. And we were like, where did you get those? And he told us he got his on T Fury, but unfortunately they weren't available there anymore. So I fell into a deep dark Reddit hole and I managed to find where they were for sale on a UK website and immediately ordered them for us too. Then moving on to accessories, I have a bunch of lounge fly things to share. So the first one is this Spider-Man mini backpack. As I said before, Spider-Man is my absolute favorite superhero. So this has been on my wish list for so, so long. And and it recently started disappearing from a couple of the websites that it was available on. So I was like, ooh, I guess I, guess I better pull the trigger and order this before it is gone forever and I regret all of my life decisions. So yeah, love this. And then another backpack that I got from them was this little Squirtle backpack. And this one I actually got because Andrew and I were planning on going to our first Pokemon Go Safari Zone, which was gonna be in Philadelphia this year. We got our tickets, we booked our train, we were so excited, and then it got canceled. So I'm hoping that Niantic will be able to reschedule it in the future, maybe like toward the latter half of the year. I definitely still want to attend, but I thought this Squirtle backpack was so cute. So I definitely jumped on that as soon as I saw it. And I also like a really fun detail with this one is that on the back it actually has 007 here which is Squirtle's Pokedex number. Then I also got this cute little mini purse which says Rebel and the E is actually the Rebel Alliance symbol. So this I thought was really beautiful and I actually thought it would be cute to wear with my shirt that I'm wearing right now. There's also a gold chain that attaches so you can wear it as a purse but this was also a fun thing. Like you can have it as like a clutch that you use and you stick your hand between there. But yeah, it just reminds me of Princess Leia, so had to get that. Then Loungefly was having a sale and I found this Gotham wallet. I thought this was really cute. I like that it has the bat symbol over Gotham City. I just always really loved the skyline with the bat symbol, so I jumped on this as soon as I saw it. And lastly, I got this very cute little birds of prey pouch. So it has Harley Quinn blowing a bubble as like a repeating pattern. And I thought this would be good to carry some of my bullet journaling supplies in if I'm trying to bring it with me and journal on the go. Then I got this really cute bracelet from Love and Madness. I ordered it on the Her Universe website. It actually, so it's like a wrap bracelet. It unties and then you just kind of like wrap it around your wrist. But I really like this because it has the full Star Wars opening. So it actually says like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away and continues going on and on and on. And I really liked the fact that I could wear that on my wrist at all times. Then speaking of Star Wars stuff, I got 
the cutest beret in the world and it is this baby Yoda beret. I think it is so cute. I will definitely wear it a little bit differently when I actually wear it. I just wanted to put it on so that you could see what it looked like but I think it's so cute. And then also from her universe I got this very cute Disney belt. It reminded me of how like all of those fashion influencers have that like Gucci belt but I thought it was definitely more me to have a Disney belt. I think this is so cute and I can't wait to take some alpha photos like wearing this and I just think it's gonna make a lot of outfits look extra adorable. And also from her universe I got this R2D2 belt which I think will look really cute with either a plain blue or white dress. I think it'll just give it like an extra touch of something fun. Then Keds did a collaboration with Archie Comics and I could not resist these really adorable pink sneakers. They have Betty and Veronica's face all over them and also little like pendant flags that say Riverdale on them. I just think that they're so cute and like mint phones and little uh, shakes from Pops's Diner. I think they're super cute. And they were on sale, which is always a good thing. Just realized that I forgot to show you one of the shirts that I got too. This is a Dungeons and Dragons t-shirt and I'm just gonna like cut the collar off of it so it's a little bit more feminine, but I think it's really adorable. I like that it has that old school fantasy feel to it. Then from her universe, I got another pair of shoes and it's these really adorable tangled flats. They have the little sun on them. I really love that they are like the quilted leather. I think that they're so, oh, they're faux leather, they're not real leather, but I love anything that's quilted. It gives it like a look of a little bit of higher quality and these are really comfy and they also have like, I don't know if you can see, but on the inside there's little like lanterns. I just think they're super adorable and these are gonna be really good for spring. Then last category, I have a couple of games to show you. So Andrew and I got Villainous, which is a Disney game and you get to play a Disney villain. Each villain has different objectives so it can kind of be a little bit overwhelming at first because there's a lot of rules to learn and it's different every time that you play a different character. The goal is for the other person to find your heroes and have them get in the way of you reaching your objectives and we played a little bit at our friend's house and it was really fun so I'm looking forward to playing this. The pieces in it are so beautiful you can see some of them on the back. So in the main game, this is like the baseboard game. You've got Captain Hook, Maleficent, Jafar, Ursula, Prince John, and the Queen of Hearts. And then they have expansions. So Andrew and I got some of the expansions too. So first we have the Perfectly Wretched expansion. And this one has Pete, Cruella de Vil, and Mother Gothel from Tangled. She was really the main reason that we got it. And her piece is so pretty. It's like a yellow dress. And we also got the Wicked to the Core expansion because this one includes Hades, Dr. Facilier, and the Evil Queen. I really love the Evil Queen's piece. It's this like beautiful purple. Okay, so like this is the Evil Queen's playing piece. So pretty. You know what, I should take a picture of these close up because I feel like it's probably hard to see. And like this is Hades' piece. They're just gorgeous. And then recent video game acquisition. We got The Witcher 3, which I'm planning on playing once I finish reading all of the books. So I've got this on release date, but it's still unopened. I've been holding on to it until I have read everything, and then I'll start playing it. All right, so that is a smattering of things that Andrew and I have acquired since the last video. I have started being a more organized human and keeping an email list of things that I get so that I remember to include everything and remember to do these videos sooner so there's not as much of a gap between them. That was a whole bunch of stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you're staying home and staying safe. And that's all that I have for this video, so I will see you guys soon in a new one. Bye!